felt like you guys were starting your actions a little higher up. Is that, was that the case? Was that something to, to just try to get you into more space coming down at the top of the key? Uh, I mean, I think that's just part of it, obviously. You know, they're they picking us up full court, um, doing a good job of pressuring us. So, you know, just making sure that we staying composed and, uh, you know, not letting them dictate us, you know, the whole game and uh, being decisive, making the right reads. Talked about uh, pass and relocate. A lot of the like kind of best open looks that you guys got, the, the kind of looks that Eme was looking for, kind of later in possessions would come when somebody would attack a closeout. They would collapse on that, and then the relocation would come behind that. So, how important of your offensive strategy was it to just take advantage of them, just continuing to send multiple bodies at the closeouts? Uh, I think it's just a term we use: good to great. You know, pass up a good shot to get a great shot. Uh, you know, they're, they're a great team, great defensive team. So, you know, the first driving kick or the first pass may not be open. Uh, so just trying to get the best possible shot each possession. Um, is that a brace on your left wrist? What happened there? No, this is just a great tape job wrap. You know, my famous trainer, Nick, <laughs> wrapped my hand up. Uh, he's a little excessive. So that's why I look like that, but I'm all right. I just fail, keep the swelling down. Jason, what was the mindset for you guys coming in knowing you needed to ratchet up the physicality without Marcus Smart out there? Yeah, um, obviously, you know, defensive player of the year, um, you know, kind of that heart and soul of the team. And, you know, I think the mindset and kind of our identity is, uh, you know, especially when, you know, when somebody is out, you know, next man up and you got to be ready to, to fill in and, um, you know, the ship got to keep going. So, you know, uh, everybody got to do a little bit more. Everybody got to fight, you know, and um, that's what we did tonight. You know, D. White started, um, you know, everybody contributed and uh, competed, you know, and we just kind of picked up where, you know, if we would have had smart, um, that, you know, toughness, you know, each possession. So we knew what we had to do. Jalen got it going from the jump. Grant just told us he saw something in Jalen in that in his eye from the moment he came in the building. Did you see that? Yeah, um, JB was locked in, um, locked in from the last game. You know, locked in from shoot around. So, uh, you know. If I was a betting man, I would have bet that JB was gonna have a great game. Um, and he set the tone. Um, and that was big for us, just how aggressive he was coming out, making the right plays for himself and for others. Uh, you know, he kind of got us going tonight. What did you like best about your group's response after game one? Um, just how we responded, you know. Every game isn't gonna be perfect. You know, we're playing against the defending champs. Uh, you know, and they, they punched us in the mouth first game. And, uh, you know, we knew that. So uh, I knew we was going to be ready tonight uh, from a competitiveness standpoint. And just, you know, making adjustments from game to game. You know, I think that's what the playoffs are about. Jason, could you sense that that was coming after game one, just right away maybe, that you guys would come out collectively the way you did tonight? And also just a thought on being 1-1 now heading to Milwaukee. Yeah, uh, I could sense that. I mean, we were pissed off um, in how we how we played last game, and you know, from top to bottom, and we knew that uh, we just had to play better. You know, as simple as that. You know, every aspect of the game, we just had to play better. And uh, I mean, yeah, it's one one. So uh, you know, get get some rest see what we can do better, watch some film, and, and get ready for the next one. Jason, some of those passing sequences, five, six, seven passes, you've had a few of those this year. But I'm thinking of that Horford one in particular, where you laid it in at the last second. Brown's going downhill. You're swinging it. Like, How did you guys get to a point where you're that connected and you can string out that many passes on a single possession and just finish it at the last second? Uh, I think it goes back to what I said earlier, uh, good to great. You know, something that we just 
um, have emphasized for a while. Um, you know, you pass up a good shot to get a great shot. You know, they're a really good team. So, you know, the first action may not work or not even the second one, but you usually got to keep uh, moving the ball, keep driving it um, until, you know, you get the best shot possible, and that's what we did. And the up fakes seem to be really successful against them. I don't know if it's something you saw on film, just how aggressive they were contesting. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, with, with Giannis and, and, and Brooke, you know, two big guys, uh, you know, they, they do a great job of protecting the rim. And, uh, you know, I think just watching film in the first game, they blocked a couple of our shots. Um, so just reading, you know, was, somebody's probably going to be open, you know, if two guys are contesting at the rim. And, um, you know, just making sure we make the right play.